Today I'm going to show you how to paint a flower using encaustic. In encaustic, you melt beeswax on a craft iron and you paint with it. It is important that you use a craft iron instead of a regular iron. A craft iron looks like this. Other things you will need is some wax. Beeswax works best, but if you have normal wax, like crayons, that works too. I'm only going to be using these colors, but if you have more colors, you can also use different colors. You will need small pieces of paper, paper towel, and larger pieces of paper. So here are three ways you can make these beautiful flowers. The first way I'm going to show you is the simplest way. And this is just a stripe way. So for this one, what you want to start is you're going to take a piece of paper and put it under your paper that you're going to be painting on. And then choose the colors that you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use blue, white, and gold for this. If you don't have gold, you can use yellow too. So I'm going to hold my painting iron flat and what I want to do is on the top I'm going to make a little want to melt a little bit of blue on it. And it looks like my painting iron isn't hot enough yet. So you want to turn it on. I'm putting mine to low. And then you might want to wait a little bit. Okay. So now that my iron is heated up, I'm going to start with some blue at the top. You just have to hold it over the iron for a little bit, well, on the iron, and it will start melting. The next thing you want to put on is white to separate your two colors that you're choosing. Just one little strip of white. The same thing, you just want to hold it on and move it across. Now I'm going to use the gold one. For this one, I have a pretty small piece, so it might be a little harder. You, when you're making flowers, you only want to put wax up to the halfway point because more probably won't get onto the paper. So about till here is what I'm going to do. And then you're going to turn it over and put the tip of your iron in the middle and pull out like this. Put it in the middle and pull. You only want to do, every time you pull once, you want to reapply color. Otherwise, it might um, get... To, like the yellow will start getting on the top and stuff like that. Then you're going to take a paper towel and crump it into a, crumple it into a ball so that you don't burn yourself and just wipe the top off so that you don't get any of the last color onto it. Repeat the same process. Put the tip in blue, add a stripe of white, add a little bit of gold till about the halfway point, and if you're using other colors, you always want to put like a gold, I mean a white in the middle. And you won't, I, I just think the white looks beautiful in the middle, but you don't have to do that. For this next one, I want to slightly overlap my other one. This. Again, put in, pull out. Okay? So you're pushing it on, and then you're just dragging it out and keeping the iron on the paper. Again, wipe it off. It doesn't need to be completely clean because you're using the same colors, but it should be clean-ish. Again, put a corner of blue, a stripe of white, and then the gold, as you can see, I don't have a lot of, so that's kind of hard for me to do, but yeah. So I usually do around five or six-ish um, petals. In this case, I think I'm gonna do six. Six is usually what I do, I think. Six or seven or five, so a couple more. Okay, so I'm on my last one now, and so far I have this. For the last one, you want to reapply the same way you did for all the other ones. And as you can see, I've done about, um, I'm going to have about six, I think. So, yeah. Usually, you should aim for doing about six petals if you have the kind of size that I do. And you can see what size paper I'm using in the description. 
So then you're going to turn it in right in between the two spaces you have and pull out once again. It should be sort of overlapping both of them, but mainly overlapping the last one you did. Because it's not supposed to overlap this one, it's supposed to be under this one, but you can't do that, so try to put it mainly on this one. And if you realize that you might need another one, it's okay if you go over something again. So I'm actually going to overlap, so it's technically seven petals that I'm going to do. So if you need to overlap something, because you don't like the way something is, you want to very carefully do this because it could ruin some things. And you want to just go over it again. Your finished one for this strategy should look something like this. Or like this. So now you want to, for the next one, whenever you do a second one, you want to get your piece of paper out and get a new piece of paper. Otherwise, you may um, have the colors you used for one piece on another piece. So we want to switch that piece of paper out and also get a new small piece of paper. The next way I'm going to show you is what I call the stripe way. Um, so. This way, you're putting three stripes on your iron, and I'm going to demonstrate this using pink, red, and white this time. So again, clear off the surface, this time a little bit more thoroughly because you don't want any colors still on your craft iron. So you might need another piece of paper towel, but I think I'm good. So again, I'm using red, yellowy orange color, and then I was also using, well, it's pink, red, and white, so I'm actually going to be using pink, oops, <laughs> red, and white. So this time, you want to put like a color that'll stand out on the outside. Like here, I put silver on the outside, silver, gold and white are all good colors to really put on the outside. Um, so I'm gonna be putting it, it's gonna be white, red, pink for me. So how you wanna do it is hold your iron flat again and in the middle to halfway down, put your first color like that. And then your other colors, you're gonna line up against them. You want the whole piece of like the iron to be covered so you don't want any gaps. And then the same thing as last time, turn it over and pull it out. Again, you want to pull out from the middle. Um, so here we go. Pull out. So you'll get a design like this, which I think is also super beautiful. Again, crumple up your paper towel and wipe it off. Again, the exact same design, making sure that you repeat your flower exactly the same way. Otherwise, it might look weird because you have suddenly a different design. So make sure you keep everything on the same side and you remember your pattern. I find it best to write down what you're planning to do sometimes, um, just in case you forget. So again, we might do this six or seven times. Um, it really depends on how much you overlap them, and how well your flowers work. So if you have a short one, you might be wasting some of the color that you put at the bottom, but you really only want to do one petal with each one, otherwise you'll get the wrong colors in the wrong places. As you can see, I only have one petal left, and I also got some blue in it, but I think it looks okay with the blue in it too. So again, for the last one, put a line of red, a line of white, some pink, and then put it in and pull. Okay? So here's this one completely finished. So this, another way that I did this was this one, and yeah, okay. So again, what you want to do 
is switch out your piece of paper and then get a new piece of paper get a new small piece of paper and my iron is getting pretty dirty and my paper towel is getting pretty dirty so see how much you can wipe off but you might need a new piece of paper towel So for this last way, we're going to make something a little like this. This is probably the hardest one to make look, to make it look like um, the beautifulest. Um, if you don't know what colors to use, I think blue, green, and silver look great together, and purple, blue, and white look great together. I'm going to be demonstrating this with like an orangey blue like scheme. So you want to choose two colors. They can be alike or different. I'm using orange and blue. And so you want to choose which color you want to put on the top. I'm going to be putting orange and blue, orange on the top and then blue. And then you want something that kind of like disrupts your pattern. And for this, I think I'm going to be using white. And then you want to use a color that's kind of like orange and a color that's kind of like blue. So for my kind of like orange color, I'm gonna be using red. And for my kind of like blue color, I'm gonna be using light blue. I don't actually have light blue, so I'm gonna be making light blue. So I'm just gonna draw what color I want here. As you can see, the white doesn't really mix very well in here, but you can kind of tell what you wanna do. So then I'm gonna start again, making smaller layers. So I'm just gonna put my top color on a little bit so it gets some of the color on and then I'm going to put a stripe of blue a stripe of white a stripe of red and a stripe of light blue if you also want to put like dots in it uh, you can do that too I've done that before okay and then again the same as last put it in the middle and then draw out okay so I got this nice yellow blue red color so again wipe your iron off and do it again Okay, so as you can see, I finished this one, and in between, if you were wondering what I was doing, I was using this one, and this is kind of a uh, cleaner, and when you use it on your iron, you apply it, it goes on kind of see-through-y, and when you wipe it off, it helps get color off of your iron. So, you can do these with any colors, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching it, and if you tried any of these ways, let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and give it a like if you like this video. Goodbye.